All right, so our very first question of our podcast comes from a very special listener, and that listener is Taylor Elise Zero One from Instagram, who is also one of our College Express writers. So thank you, Taylor Elise, for writing in. And your question is, how do you prevent senioritis? Senioritis is one of the major plagues of getting into college, and it happens pretty much to everybody. I feel like we can all agree on that. The main thing is don't let it hit you so hard that you get your college letter rescinded because a college can do that. They can say, oh, whoa, 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 hey, (laughs) what just happened? And and take back what they... And that's how they'd say it to you. Whoa. Whoa. That's That's how the letter's written. Yeah. Yeah. It's in calligraphy. It's whoa, 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 hey. Uh, And so they, they can take that back in a matter of seconds, if not minutes, if not hours, if not days, if not weeks, if not years. Keep going. They could do that. Really? They Decades. Could, they could yeah. do that. So how do you prevent senioritis is the question. We'll get into that. I think the number one thing is make a list, as you all know. So making a list is one of the things that I always bring up on this podcast all the time. Is spreadsheets. Spreadsheets. And I've, I've said it a million times before is have a goal. Walk towards that goal. You have to, in not only college and high school, just think of what you want to do and then how you're gonna get there. So make small baby steps, and as you're going, make sure you're hitting those steps, and every day you're gonna get a little bit better and a little bit better, so those steps can now become a little bit bigger because now you're able to understand that, okay, this is what I used to do, I didn't really understand what's going on, but now I can make leaps and bounds as I move forward. And so it it gets easier. Not more fun, but easier. Right, yeah, Yeah, it's never ever more fun. It's always as difficult as it was day one. So I think that that's a huge, huge advantage is making the, the list and, and going through it. And also preventing senioritis is surround yourself with people that yeah. are in the same mindset as you. <laughs> like Mrs. Thistle? Like Mrs. Thistle, <laughs> yeah. So uh, as John just mentioned, <laughs> and in non- Don. And, oh! <laughs> Don just mentioned. Donald. So as Donald is just mentioned. Sure? Is it Don or is it Don? It's Donathan. Donathan. <laughs> As Donathan just mentioned, yes, yes, I'm sorry, your name's It's a great name. So as Donathan mentioned, uh, I brought up in a, not an outtake, that uh, (laughs) we have been talking about how you have to continue to do things that you you don't like. In my case, I I hated grammar in high school. That was the opposite. Were you? Yeah, I'm an editor. Are you sure? That's what I do. (laughs) Still hates grammar to this day. (laughs) It's the worst. But yeah, I used to go after class every single day with John Dufour, myself, and Mrs. Thistle, and we would sit there and we'd go through grammar, and I hated it, but you know what? I can write like a fit great child now <laughs> so it helped me out i used to have the one one grade first grade <laughs> Shout out i can't even talk grammar so yeah it uh it definitely helps you as, as you move forward so keep to a schedule routine is definitely a major factor that will help you in your senioritis but uh as i mentioned a little bit previously surround yourself with people that are in the like mind too because if you get with people that are hey all right we're almost there. we're like we got into college and we can go and slack off a little bit you're going to be hanging out and slacking off and, and not continuing on that path. So it does help when other people aren't trying to pull you to do those things. I don't know. What, what are you guys' experience? I think it's a... <clears throat> sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I, I didn't interrupt you, and no, you let me go. So I'm going to let you go first. <laughs> um, thank you. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> um, I think there's no way to prevent senioritis. I think there are just ways to deal with it. And it's just like Tyler said, make a list. Just even if you don't want to do it, get it done. Um, I was not really good at the dealing with senioritis thing, um, but it kind of kicked in. I there was an issue with my senior thesis paper, and I ended up. No, it wasn't a grammar. (laughs) I can get it. I can get into the whole story if you want. Get get the but (laughs) yeah, I want to hear. Oh, basic. So basically, in December, (laughs) I said I want to change my thesis, and my teacher said you can't do it. And then two days before the paper was due, she goes, you need brand new books. And I said, I have no research on those. Mm. And I had done all my research. And she goes, well, you shouldn't have let senioritis get to you. Oh, it had oh my God. Um, did so, you slash your tires? No, uh, I did not. But I, <laughs> I wrote the essay over the weekend. And she was With like, <laughs> I, wrote, I wrote the essay the over the weekend. <laughs> 
Um, I, I, so I wrote the, my <laughs> senior thesis that weekend, and I came in on Monday, and I passed it in. And on Tuesday, she came in, and she was like, you need to rewrite this because it has nothing in it. Wow. So I couldn't let senioritis get to me because if I didn't pass the thesis, then I wouldn't be able to graduate. Um, so, I mean, I, get yourself into a dire situation. I guess that's how you prevent senioritis. Pressure. Yeah, <laughs> pressure. Well, I, yeah, that's if you work well under pressure. Because mm. if what, you don't, then you're I was just like annoyed more. because I had all, she said, you need to get rid of these two books. And that was where I had all my research. Why did she want the books done? She does she not like, like those me. books. No, she didn't like me. Oh. That's the problem. Don't have teachers that don't like, like you. Mice and men. Yeah. And <laughs> if you can prevent it. Like yeah. famous literary books. They were actually. One of them was um, Alice in Wonderland, and she said you shouldn't use Never that one. No. <laughs> oh, you said Alice. In yeah. Oh, it's just the book based off the movie. <laughs> <laughs> the book based off the movie. Yeah, Got yeah. it. Yeah. It's an old movie. So, um, so yeah, they, I just work with your teachers. <laughs> don't let them bully you around I think another part of mm. senioritis is it's you you feel like you want to be done with high school yeah. mm. and you just want to move on to the next phase of college um, so I think you know usually it's like I guess around March April I don't know when you exactly feel it but um look forward to the September things September 1st <laughs> <laughs> pretty much uh, look forward to the things that are still coming up towards the end of the year, like uh, if you are interested in the prom that's coming up, or usually there's senior activities the last week, like there's exciting things that you're usually doing when you're a senior the last few months, so just keep that in mind to keep up the positive spirits. Yeah, like, yeah that's actually a good point too, is that the senior you. year, <laughs> you're welcome, <laughs> the, the senior year uh, activities that you do at the end of the year, you'll get eliminated from them if you're not yeah, getting yeah, the sure. grade, so that's a great motivating factor to yeah if you've always it. dreamt of going to prom keep on track so you can go to prom Become <laughs> or prom else that dream will or queen. gone <laughs> do that i don't think they Probably. do king and queen anymore oh, oh they, they did mine sure no mine too. Yeah. i mind they got rid of them. Runner up, oh. baby. although i am the youngest well, everyone yes. remembers runner up <laughs> no one remembers the winner runner up baby <laughs> I don't, remember, I, run I don't remember who was in the court or anything. I didn't get to vote on it. I was really annoyed. Yeah, me neither. Well, no, I think we had to write it on We had a homecoming court. We didn't get the prom king or queen. We didn't have I any of that. I myself. I got one vote. <laughs> no, all I remember is <laughs> zero. So you're going to say I only got one and it wasn't me. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. You yeah. can't be prom queen or king without good grades, so. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my senior year, I didn't really get senioritis because what? I did an internship. Ooh. And in the second semester of senior year, they said you can either keep going to class, which sounded so fun, or you could do an internship. So I did an internship and worked at a golf course all summer. Or, I guess, what is that, spring? Yeah. Spring. Worked at a golf course. Was it mini golf or professional? That's beside the point. <laughs> it was somewhere in the middle. And uh, it, was, it was really just cleaning golf carts and picking up balls at the driving range. And Definitely mini golf. <laughs> the golf carts. It was the mini yeah. golf driving range. That's yeah. right. Yeah. And, uh, they should have golf carts. Yeah. They should. That Campbell actually Farms? Would yeah. be very depressing. <laughs> was it? <laughs> Diabetes is a big factor. Drive the golf cart like an inch. <laughs> All right. We're on the next hole. That's the best part of golfing, driving the cart. Yep. Until yeah. you yeah. turn 16 and a half and can actually drive a real car. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I actually still prefer driving a golf cart. Yeah. A car. To a real car? Yeah. yeah. It's more fun. You can just like whip not those around. Related to this, not related to your question, I'm sorry, Taylor. I like to point. You can put in a snowmobile engine into a golf cart. It goes fast. <laughs> Real fast. Have wow. you done it? Um, I've ridden in one. I haven't done it myself. Uh, things you shouldn't do while you're procrastinating doing homework. True. Mm -hmm. True. Unless <laughs> you want to be a mechanic. That's true. Oh, yeah, no, the fair point. If you want to be a mechanic, make that your like senior thesis. <laughs> if you can thesis. do that, you can be a mechanic. Yeah. If you can do that, you can do anything. <laughs> Spaceships. Play for the Celtics. <laughs> <laughs> Go to NASA and work for them. Anyways. So back on track to senioritis. So <laughs> we I have senioritis. <laughs> to this day. Uh, so I worked at that golf course, and I think a little bit bigger of an issue was I worked at that golf course, which was a really nice course, and then after school would work at another golf course. So I was outside all day, which was great, but I was going from cleaning golf carts at 6.30 in the morning to 2.30 when school day would end, to then going cleaning golf carts and picking up golf balls till about 10 o'clock at night. And it's all about finding that balance, as you guys talked about, making sure that A, you're doing something you're, like, you're liking or studying something you're liking, or just making the best of a situation as you can and really trying to see that end goal or making a list and 
going out and checking each one off. Uh, I'm not much of a list person. I kind of like to wing things. Excuse me? Uh, pardon what? me? Pardon me? What? Uh, I like to you wing things. You come into my house. <laughs> this is your dorm room. Get out With of here. With the <laughs> Get out of here. Um, but even just going off and checking something off a list feels good. Yeah. Just knowing, even as silly as it is, you see it in the movies, circling a date on the calendar and just Xing out every day. Having that end date in sight and knowing the actual day is a big deal as well. Play a montage video. Yeah. The exact, that's right. I knew the exact day my internship was over and that day graduation was. And so just counting down every single day. Kind of like some people, yeah. not anyone sitting around here, does it work every day with every hour of the day. Yeah. Uh, but just counting down to something really that helps as well. Yeah. No. I, did that, I, did I didn't even know people did that. I made that up this second. Oh, I, I thought we were talking about someone on oh, the table. It's me, guys. <laughs> Do you have a it's calendar a every, every hour? You count every letter. Huh? What's up? <laughs> One more letter until this is done. <laughs> um, I, I, you're, you make a good point with the countdown. So, um, mm -hmm. I did that a lot in high school, like going through my time hop every day. I'm like, what am I counting down to? What What's 55 days away? Christmas. Why do I have to wait that long? <laughs> few more the days start of the that. NFL season? <laughs> no, going to Ireland. Ooh, first semester abroad. Yeah. Yeah. First semester abroad. That's apparently what it was. Ooh. But yeah, having I, I, I always, always do countdowns count for like things, things I was excited, excited for, for, so like things that you're looking forward to in high school. You never ask for that. They do. <laughs> so it can like send you notifications and be like, you have 50 more days. So I was in graduation. School. There were no apps. <laughs> yeah, every hour. We didn't have smartphones in our day. <laughs> we were ironically talking in a meeting today about how some girls on our team like never had a MySpace or an AIM. I, I never, never had, had a MySpace. MySpace. You never had a MySpace? No. I knew I had. There, I was around <laughs> the MySpace time. Did MySpace time. exist for you? Uh, I invented <laughs> MySpace. <laughs> Are you tired of MySpace? Yes, sir. I'm everybody's friend. Tyler Parker. You know what I'm talking about? Tom? Oh, of course I know Tom. He's my best friend. Yeah. Well, he was my number one friend for a long time. That's my only friend. Facebook's not letting you put music on your profile. That sounds a lot like And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's MySpace. I still remember what song I had on MySpace right now. Yep. What was it? Don't worry about it. It was a Jake Owen song. Country. So apparently yeah, it was country. Know it. I knew that part. I, I'll interrupt you midway through. Let me keep going. <laughs> Senior rise is bad. Yeah. It doesn't anything. go away, apparently. No, it does not. So, yeah, to, yeah avoid it. Like, oh, it's it's tough, though, yeah. Everyone gets it, but don't get it. Barefoot blue jeans. Yeah. <laughs>